the Austrian far-right Freedom Party is celebrating here behind me in Vienna because according to projections based on the first results, they are winning these parliamentary elections here in Austria. There's still a margin of deviation by around 2%, so it could still change because just 2% behind the Freedom Party are the governing conservatives, the People's Party. So we still don't know who will win these elections. It could still change, but according to these projections, uh, based on the 30% votes already counted, the Freedom Party is winning in Austria. Well, Johannes, uh, the margin, uh, according to the projections, is very low, it's only 2%. Uh, but winning is not necessarily a ticket to power, isn't it? Um, Niehammer said his party won't join a government with Herbert Kickel in it. Yes, exactly. So the Freedom Party, this far-right party, um, actually originates from the VDU, which was an ex-Nazi party. Um, but times have changed and they've becoming a party far-right, but still voted by many parts of the population, um, mostly workers, but also people who are unsatisfied with globalization, with high inflation, high cost of living. So um, the Freedom Party was able to double it's uh, the votes compared to the uh, last election, and they're around 30% now. But still, uh, the main uh, possible coalition partner, the People's Party, the Conservatives, uh, the leader has said he would not go into a coalition with the Freedom Party, with the far right, if the current leader, Herbert Kickel, would be uh, chancellor or vice chancellor. So it's unclear yet because it could be that the Freedom Party gets rid of uh, its uh, leader and puts another candidate in the leading position and then there could be a future government here in Austria between the conservatives and the far right.